Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's a tea packet. I'm calling it a tea packet because inside here is a tea bag. Now, obviously tea bags that come in bags rather than the ones that you stick directly into your cup often come in varying sizes. I have got a tea pigs one. Um, I actually don't drink tea. I've had this tea pigs bag knocking around for quite a long time. But because they are small, you can make envelopes to fit them very, very easily with your envelope punch board. All you do, because that's what we're going to do, is you work out how big your tea bag is. So mine is, I've got a metric, I've got my good paper on metric. Mine measures uh, three and a half inches, which is nine centimetres by pretty much the same, three and a half by nine centimetres. So you come to your punch board and you work out, so mine's three and a half by three and a half inches which means I need a piece of paper that is six by six and I punch and score at three so it doesn't matter what size your tea bag is that you're making and using um, you just make an envelope for it according to what your punch board is telling you but as I said mine is three by uh, my tea bag is three and a half by three and a half inches so my paper is six by six and I thought this was a really good excuse to show you some of our new goodies and bits and pieces um, that are going live on the, I want to say the 4th of January. Very cute, gorgeous paper, 6x6 six six pack, adorable little embellishment, great greeting. Look at the glitter paper, the glitter ribbon, and look at the little enamel dots. Love it. But obviously, I like to show you something other than, you know, products you can't yet get. So I'm working with Pretty Petals, which is 6x6 six six paper. Love it. Uh, so 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter inches. No, centimetres. So six by six, you line it up to the three or the 7.6 centimetre mark, punch and score, and then just keep going all the way around at the three inch, 7.6 centimetre mark. And it is a ridiculously dull day today, so I've had to put my light on. So I'm sorry about the shadow, it's not good. Round off your corners. And this is a good last minute gift. I know that I did that on Monday, but I seriously, I work so far ahead with work that I forget to do everything um, when I need it. So good last minute little gifts. And everybody loves tea bags, don't they? So, oh, I didn't want to score that. I just wanted to press it with my fingers. And the reason I want that, I didn't want to score it, is because my tea bag has bulk. And I do only have the one. So we'll just have to pretend there's a tea bag in here. So you fold up the sides, you run some adhesive down. We are literally creating an envelope. Fold it up, you slip your tea bag in there. And we're gonna have it loosely open because you don't want to shred it. So let's do a little bit of stamping. And I have got the homemade for you stamp set. Not that I've made the tea, but I think you get the idea. So I've got this one, bought this just for you because I bought it ish <laughs> mint macaron mint macaroon however you want to say it ink on some very vanilla because that's vanilla in the background and i'm going to punch that with the one and a half inch circle punch and it just goes round. unfortunately my light has thrown me that i can't see it very well and then with a spare bit i've got the one and three quarter inch circle punch also very vanilla and where's my I've lost my dimensionals I have them they've gone there they are so I have a couple oh dear let's just pull off a strip a couple behind there just to just to elevate it a tiny little bit and you can see with my original that's where I hung my little charm my little slice of lemon went behind there so we're not going to do that. I'm just going to try and get this lined up because I want to put my dimensionals on the vertical because I want to stick them to the ribbon. And the ribbon I've got for this one, the manch manching, matching mint macaron, macaroon. So I've got some of that. I've also got some vanilla satin ribbon, which is lush. Love this satin ribbon. So I'm trying to get two bits that are roughly the same length. And I've also got the vanilla um, Thick Baker's Twine. And what I'm going to do...
is close up my bag. I'm just going to try and get it lined up. And you can fiddle around afterwards and make sure your ribbon is sort of central afterwards. So I'm just going to do that. I've got a peg somewhere to clip it shut just for a second. Just while I get this and tie a bow or a knot to close it. It doesn't matter if it's a bow or a knot because you don't actually undo this. Um, it's literally just to hold this ribbon in place. So, a little bow. Because your ribbon has, ki has kind of become a belly band. I did try a belly band when I was first designing the project, but I didn't like it very much. I preferred the ribbon effect. So, just line that up a little better so it's a bit more central. And then trim this lot down because you don't want it too big or too long. <laughs> I can't get hold of it. Oh, I've got the wrong scissors, that's why. These are my ones that the children decided they were going to cut gluey, sticky stuff with. And um, they're not as sharp, but I can't actually see my fabric scissors anywhere right now. There we go, and then this where I've put my dimensionals, this will stick to the ribbon, because I was very careful and put them centred. And that is my little tea packet. Slide that down, and it keeps it closed. Easy peasy, and everybody likes tea. Well, actually, I don't like tea, but most people like tea. <laughs> it's a nice gift, and it's a nice gift that you could just give for any reason, just because. So... I hope you like it. This is my last video before Christmas, um, but there will be some stuff coming between Christmas and New Year, so do watch space. And also watch out for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and there's this very special something going over on my blog. So I hope to see you there.